How's it going, people? Welcome back. If uh, you're following my review of this uh, fine publication, and so far it's been interesting. So, I, I'm hopeful. Anyway, next section. Religion and the afterlife. Oh, hang on. I better get ready. It's pretty hot out. Need to wet the whistle. All better. In the search for truth about death and the afterlife, billions have turned to faith. Yet the most popular religions in the world teach a contradictory mix of ideas about it. Hmm. I guess they can't all be true. They might all be wrong, <laughs> but they can't all be true. Some believe that death is the end of all existence. And no one can prove otherwise or in favor of that argument. <sighs> Others favor reincarnation. Many believe their dead ancestors inter interact with the world of the living. If you've got a fine-tuned Ouija board, you know. The ancient Egyptians developed an extensive system of beliefs and detailed rituals about the afterlife to help people make a smooth transition to the other world. Incantations were memorized from the Book of the Dead in preparation for death, and corpses were embalmed so that the dead could live again. In Greek mythology, Hades was said to be the king of the underworld a place where souls lived on after death. The Greek god Hermes supposedly took dead souls to the underworld and sometimes left them on the banks of the river Styx. Between life and death, how inconsiderate. Until Charon would take them across, but only if the family of the deceased had left gold as a bribe. It never ends, does it? Buddhists believe in a cycle of birth, life, and death, and that deeds determine whether a soul moves up towards nirvana or downward into misery. Uh, Hindus believe in another type of reincarnation, a works-based journey called karma, which supposedly will lead them towards a spiritual state of perfection. The Quran describes an afterlife of, e of either paradise, Jannah, or hell. Janahanam. The type of deeds committed in this life determines which of seven levels of soul enter while waiting in the grave for the resurrection. Even before the day of judgment, deceased souls already begin to get a taste of their future destiny. Membership benefits, no doubt. Within Judaism and Christianity, there are differing ideas about what happens at death. 
Judaism traditionally sees Sheol as a term for the grave and that until resurrection the dead know nothing. Ecclesiastes 9.5 This view is also held by some Christians. Yet many others interpret some Bible passages about the spirit and soul to indicate that a separate conscious entity lives in the body at death and exists beyond the grave. End of section. Discuss. Chime in, please. And let me know if you learned something, because I want to learn it too if I can. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, I insist, to be continued.